basta Dude, okay, there you go. I wasn't even on. Welcome to the Machine Room Podcast, where I talk to no one because the mic's off. Nobody. <laughs> no one at all. And of course, with me as always is Hammer of Venus. What up, girl? Uh, apparently, my cholesterol. We'll talk about that later. Ooh, shit. Yes, we will. Tonight, I... They wanted to do this. I didn't even want to bring this up because yesterday we spent like damn near seven hours playing World War Z with it our like boy. It was it was six six hours fifty something minutes. So I just rounded it off to seven hours. There you go. So that's, hour. that's why I say almost. Uh, we played with Scooby. It was a great time. We killed a lot of Zeds. We got killed by a, by a lot of Zeds. So many times. Yes. But we got the job done. But like I said, I didn't want to bring this up because I wanted this conversation for this show specifically. And that is the fact that 2020 keeps giving us stuff. It's just stacking up, you know? You just stack up. Just just keep it's like it's the shit. What's that song? A shit fuck stack. Which one? You ever heard that? By the guy with the big afro? <laughs> There's a lot of guys with big afros. <laughs> the funny guy, I can't remember his name, but he has a song, a song called Shit Fuck Stack, and that's what 2020 is. Oh, well, then that's what we should call this episode. <laughs> Reggie something? Name. Make sure to call this episode that. What up, Phantom Knight? Thank you for joining us in the middle. In Reggie the... Watts. Reggie That's Watts. No, I never heard that name. Oh my god, it's like the best song ever. <laughs> I'll post it in chat. Sweet. Danny! Welcome to the Machine Room Podcast. Ship that stack. I want to discuss about how things are stacking up. And this time, we are hit with the news of Pentagon confirming... UFOs. Nice. Not denying it, not saying it's some kind of science experiment, nothing like that. They put out an image saying like, look, this is UFO. From like... You have it. Yeah, I don't know if it was recent or just something they had like stored away in a computer and one person was like, you know what? The fucking world's gone crazy. Just throw this out there and confirm it. Third, give a dog a bone. <laughs> and where my reaction was like all right cool now if only they could come and cure us of shit that we're dealing with but then i quickly realized i have fear of uh alien visitors <laughs> you like coming and get you or something yeah, like if they came, I'll be like, oh shit. But if they're like, oh man, what's up, man? We cool, you know, love, uh, <laughs> I love uh, Earth. And I'm like, all right, cool. But no, that's the thought of, you know, fucking like fire in the sky or communion, you know, that kind of shit. So I quickly lock the door of my room. Have... Did they have to do all those same hand gestures that you did? I mean, I assume they've been watching us. So, you know, <laughs> they. <laughs> They listen to a lot of hip hop in space and assume we're all like that. They just get out the ship and they're like, what up, cook? What up, <laughs> cook? Danny's saying that the video was released two years ago, so it's not new. Is it the one with the. Looks like a green rice flying around? Maybe. I don't know. Did it's I like. It's, it's not. About that. It's not even a clear image. Like, you just see something over there, and it's, like, being marked. If 
if it's the one that I'm thinking about, the one that was captured by a uh, Air Force pilot, that one is pretty fucking amazing because you get to see the instrument panel at the bottom of the screen mm-hmm. and it's telling you like how far it is and how fast it's moving and all that and it would only do that if there was actually something there and you can clearly see something that doesn't have wings doesn't have like a cockpit doesn't have any like markings on it and it's traveling sporadically that they had to try to catch up with it and then it disappears I swear I've seen something like that. At the airport, people say they've seen stuff. And I think I mentioned this before. Like, I saw, like, just, just like, bounced away. But I always look up to see if I see something else. Because if you're going to visit Earth, why not go to an airport, right? Sure. <laughs> I've heard the UFO story at the O'Hare airport when, like, everybody saw it and it shot up in the sky and it made the cloud look like a donut. And then everybody, everybody went to Dunkin' Donuts afterwards. Exactly. I love Dunkin'. Every- Dunkin' Donuts is money. America runs on Dunkin'. Unless you're here and we don't have a Dunkin'. You don't got a Dunkin' either? Okay, this woman told me yeah. yesterday she had to drive two hours to a Chipotle. Now you're telling me you don't even have a Dunkin'. We have a Starbucks. Everybody has a... Damn, Starbucks will be everywhere. They don't give a fuck. Uh Uh-uh. No, and and trying to get a good cup of coffee at Starbucks is, like, impossible. It's really just impossible. Kim Possible. Remember those memes? Yeah. Impossible. I mean, do you... So... Go ahead. What? Go ahead. What did them to put this out? It was sometime within this week or over the weekend or something. It's been, mm-hmm. it, it was trending on, on Twitter, especially where it just a hashtag uh, aliens exist. Oh, nice. And how the uh, Pentagon was all, well, people say like the, the Pentagon officially released this shit. It's like, it's just, people are saying like, you know, every month is something new. So now May is going to be like aliens, you know, like that's going to be the shit that's going to hit us. Well, shit. They're meaning they're like, maybe that's where COVID-19 came from. And it's like a conspiracy and they're trying to get us acclimated to their weather and their environment and their, you know, antibodies. So... They spray COVID-19 everywhere, and it's actually aliens. Uh, you can't say that because you're going to start a conspiracy <laughs> trend. <laughs> There's going to be people really, 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 really going crazy with that conspiracy. What up, Evil Yoda fan? I like it. It's a nice, awesome name. He doesn't just like a regular Yoda. Yoda's got to be evil. He's an evil Yoda fan. Yeah, Jesse Ventura. That's a conspiracy that he would be all over. He probably will, like... He probably will help you get the facts to it. Like, he already has the facts. Yes. She's on to something. Right. <laughs> I'm something. They say Bill Gates is trying to plant chips in you with a possible vaccine. Yeah, I've heard that too, and I've also heard that COVID came from 5G towers, and I don't believe any of it. <laughs> I do. I just watched a video earlier. I think it was put on the cyber. Yeah, it was put on the cyber goons uh, uh, Facebook. Where there's a video of this guy who's at this rally with all these Trump supporters trying to like open up. Well, not all Trump supporters, because there was one person who's like, "Fuck Trump," but. These people who are trying to, like, open the economy, it's the constitutional right, blah, blah, blah. Uh, there's no such, you know, it's just like a flu. It's just seasonal, blah, 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 blah. And there there were people there who, tr- like, this woman was on, uh, on the podium doing a speech. And she said, my daughters are, are near-death 
sick. They're almost dying. They're in the car because they can't be out here with all your cell phones and the 5G. And I was like, what? The fuck? <laughs> There's a lot you of things wrong. Retired. There was a lot of things wrong with that thing. Just the fact that your daughters are apparently, from what you're saying, like dying. They're in the car, though, waiting. And then... Mm-hmm. You don't want them around cell phones because of the 5G. That's retarded. Mm. Mm. That's mm. the most, that's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. <laughs> oh, don't say that because <laughs> I promise you by tomorrow you'll hear more dumber shit. That's why I try to like stay unplugged. Like I, I don't follow unknown people anymore. Like most of my followers and stuff on like Twitter and Facebook are actually people that I know and have met. Not crazy. So I try to stay away. Yeah, and I'm, I'm, and in that I'm like disconnected from like third party sources like that. So I usually always like the thing that you just said about the UFO being released from the Pentagon. That's news to me because, like I said, I'm not connected to shit. It's not wired. You're disconnected. Yeah. Which is possibly, which is actually, if you think about it, a really good thing because. Every day, I see things that just make me go, fuck. You know, like, these people, like, people, they're, (sighs) they're stupid, and I just, I just, it's just a lot of shaking in my head. I don't even know how to explain all this, but I want to give a big shout out to the people that are joining us here. Thank you for joining us, man. This is great. This is what we want. We want, we want you to show up. We want you to be part of the conversation. Like Phantom here saying that, <laughs> like people injecting bleach. Yeah, exactly. There was like a, I think we were talking about this yesterday. I think that mm-hmm. there was a surplus of people calling the poison control hotline. Because they were ingesting like bleach and other chemicals that Trump said were okay to try to kill COVID. First of all, he's stupid for saying it. Second of all, they're stupid for doing it. (laughs) Third of all, third of all, the entire fucking administration is stupid for letting him even go up there and say anything, period. (laughs) You know? They should have like that beep button instead of like catching swear words. They just beep out stupid shit that he says. No, you know what I want? I want, I want a fucking like. Let's go with let's get give me Bill Goldberg to be like on the side of the <laughs> stage, and the moment that Trump's about to say something stupid, he gets speared the fuck off the stage. You know, like he's yes. a security right there. <laughs> Cause someone's gotta stop this guy. He's fucking retarded. Phantom Knight says, I mean, he's not wrong. It will kill COVID, but it'll also kill you as well. That's true. Hmm. And that's why they're all retarded. Uh, Evil Yoda says, oh. Illinois has seen a spike in poison control calls. Really? Yep. I didn't hear also, that. Also, thanks to Evil Yoda fan for our follow. Thank you for that. Oh shit! Woo woo! I should have a button here, you know that. Every time someone follows us, you know what? I want that one instead. <laughs> that one just sounds like that one sounds like someone really trying to take a dump, but it's hurting. <laughs> Thank you. I needed that. Uh, Drow okay, saying. Dro is saying UFOs are like those parents investigating the loud noise coming from the other room. Mm. Yes. Mm. They're like, what the fuck is going on here? Maybe, maybe it's all like a field trip kind of thing, you know? And they just come visit us here and there to see it's how like we are what? and whatnot. They don't do shit because, um, they seen our movies. <laughs> they saw Independence Day and was like, "We're not saving these people." <laughs> we don't even want to. They're like, "What did? What are they talking about? We don't want to blow them up." 
You probably love our sports. Do the Febreze spray? I don't have any Febreze. You mean the the air stuff? Oh, I remember when you did this. It was like a pyro. <laughs> yes, the can of air. That sounded like a Green Ranger Tommy with constipation. Oh. <laughs> now I know what it sounds like when you're beating up people. Yes. Fucking the real up. last guy and want to be greeting them would be Trump. Yeah, that's no joke. He would fucking get orange uh, spray tan dye all over their hands. And they didn't. They would get mad and leave. Mm. Like, eh. What is this? The world, the world definitely, definitely cannot handle that. It can't even handle this right now. Do you see how the world's taking it? And it's not. I don't even see the world. I just see America. Like, I don't hear news of other countries doing stupid things during this this pandemic. I just hear about us. If there's other stuff happening, like, please direct me to that information right now. But I just see America and our president just not glorifying it, but what's the word? Adding to it. Oh. Exacerbating things. Yes. That's the perfect word. Exacerbating things. <laughs> How did you say it? Exacerbate. I fucked it up. You, you know I can't speck. Speck? I can't speck at all. Evil Yoda fan says, Did y'all hear that Republican politician... Illinois are suing Governor Pritzker. Why? He extended the stay-at-home order order for 30 days. That's true. People in downstate Illinois are complaining Illinois needs to open up now. That is true. That's ridiculous. Yep. The whole point of the quarantine is to keep people alive and not get you sick. And people are mad that it's fucking with their lives. Of course it's going to fuck with their lives. We're in a pandemic right now. You need to take the shit seriously. People are dying. People, I think people are just going crazy because they have to stay inside. Yeah. That's just it. <laughs> they have to stay inside and people do not like staying inside. We had one great fucking day yesterday. The weather was fantastic. Everybody's outside. Everybody's outside. Yeah. Just doing nothing, too. Like, I just see people laying on the grass, reading a book. I'm like, you can't do it at home? You can't read on the fucking couch? <laughs> you just... They just can't have to be... Out. They just have to be outside. And it's like, dude, it's, it's not that word. I'm glad today it was just raining all day and it's, and it's colder. So that kept people fucking inside. You know, it's just to a point where it's like, yeah, I just hope the days are fucked up because it'll keep people inside. I mean, if you have a backyard and shit like that, they're not stopping you from going in your own yard. You can go outside. What they're trying to say is, you know, they're advocating for social distancing to keep people spread apart so that we're not spreading this this disease or this virus. Mm -hmm. And people can't even do that. They're still traveling. They're still going out. They're, you know, stores like Walmart are packed. Because people are too dumb to stay home. The people here in the West Side are throwing house parties full of one, at least 1,000 people. Oh, my God. See, that's... Somebody said it in chat, too. That's just Darwinism. <clears throat> but you see, then... Natural selection. That's also an argument that they bring up. They're like... You know, aren't we supposed to live that way, that way where the strong survive and the weak die? That's their literal form of fucking argument. Open up the businesses. If, if they die, they die. That's what they're fucking yeah. saying and preaching. It's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? That's ridiculous. I mean, it's, it's insanely selfish. 
to think that way, you know? And you people can't think like that while living in part of a society, mm-hmm. you know? That evil Yoda and Droll are talking about Southern Illinois and that there's nothing to do there. Unless, shout out to Smallville, Illinois, you could go hang out with the big ass Superman statue or go to the Superman Museum, which is just a big collection that they have. Shout out to Smallville. That was my first road trip and I had a blast. But that was. You got to go outside. Yeah, that was really all to do. And they had like a big. (laughs) freaking like walk park there was a park over there with a big like path and shit so a lot of nature and superman that's about it nice what did draco say in rocky for if he dies he dies that's exactly what i was referencing (laughs) yeah that's what they're like, that's wait, what why? they're out there preaching and stuff like that and and I just don't get it and they have this thing that they believe is a big agenda against small businesses and it's true if the thing I saw this one post too with this this person who apparently owns a small business said like my city is trying to force me to open if I open I can't do this and that because I'm not supposed to be open and also right. I can't um I have to force my employees to work, which gets them out of unemployment or something like that. And it's something I mean, it's like this whole like bunch of stuff that if I open during this time period, it doesn't really help me. It just makes it worse for me and those who work for me. Exactly. It's a shit fuck stack. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So. Bring on the aliens, man, because what, what else? What right. else? I mean, would you like go to like a restaurant and there's like an alien working there? Would you go in? It, now, it depends how the aliens look because I don't like the whole... <laughs> I don't like that big eye, big head, bald... Like, yeah. yeah, that just that just creeps me the hell out. But if we get some aliens that are, you know, they're like like some... Some hot kind from fucking sci-fi movies and TV shows. And all right, we cool. What was that one show? Yeah. What? It what was show? it was a show where where aliens lived among the people as well, and Alien all them. There you go. Yes, it was a great show. That one. I think it was a movie too. Or they made a movie out of it. I don't know what came first, the TV show or the movie, but that was a great uh, series. I wouldn't be surprised. I remember the show today too. That's that's another alien show that uh, aliens lived among the, among us. Um, and this one was called Earth Final Conflict, and that was like a gem for me and my mother. We used to we used to watch it all the time. They gave it in syndication with along with Hercules and Xena. Probably like the only okay. people. I'm probably like the only people that watch that show and know of it, but it was dope. Yeah, that's. I have an irrational fear to the gray aliens that they talk about. Mm hmm. Like, if a fucking UFO landed in the White House yard and it was a bunch of gray aliens, they'd be like, nope, mm-mm, can't do it. <laughs> Out of here. Like some men black looking shit, they'd be like, yeah, I'm fine with it. Just this I'm just don't don't stick anything don't stick anything up our asses. That's all I'm saying. No. No. Unless unless there's been an arrangement before and that's like your thing, then you know, we're we're not gonna knock your thing. But... Exactly. Unless we consented <laughs> unless we consented. Yeah. Do not stick anything up our asses. We need butt consent. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's my sign on the, on, I'm just like, when they're visiting us and try to like, whatever, I'm just gonna have a sign. It's like, just don't, ain't no pro bus. Yeah. And I'm having on a t-shirt. And the back it says, without consent. <laughs> <laughs> Make those shirts happen. 
<laughs> Not even a Trump. No, they could anal probe Trump all they want. He, They're not going to get anything. He can, but they could do it for fun. They can just do it for fun, you know? I think there'd be some better asses to probe that would be a lot funner. <laughs> 16 bits at butt control. <laughs> Hashtag, Hashtag butt control, butt buddy. Control. Yes. Do it. Do it. Get it trending. I'm already, pff, I'm already doing it. Hashtag butt <laughs> control. Uh, and at machine room. Hashtag alien butt plugs. <laughs> That's what we're doing right there. Wow, man. Thank thank you guys for being here. This is what, man. This is awesome. This is awesome. This is what the machine room is all about. This is exactly what it's all about, guys. And, you know, we're lucky now because we can do it earlier than before. Before, we had to do an 11 o'clock show. And yep. I know that had to, like, suck for some, suck for us. But right now, we, you know... Under the circumstances of what's happening in the world, there I I do think about like some good thing that happened. One, it sucks, but it's also good that I don't work as many hours. I uh -huh. I just go to work. I do a couple hours, and then I'm out, and I get to enjoy more of my day. I'm being productive. Like yesterday, we played for hours. That shit would have never happened. If I was stuck at work till late. Yeah, that was great. We literally played one game from a seven hours. Mm -hmm. Almost played through the whole thing. Yeah. And also the same, uh, I got to play, I get to play with Scooby more. Um, unfortunate, the circumstances, but you know, it's something like you got to look at the bright side of the stuff like that. Uh, mm -hmm. I will miss it once it's all over and I have to fucking like be a slave again, but it is what it is. Yes. Lost, lost my train of thought. Um. Yes. I don't know what we were talking about. All my train of thoughts are gone. All of it. It's just gone. I just. Uh, I still see butt control. This pointer says, "I am all in for the quality butt control in the machine room podcast." That's true. Mm-hmm. We believe in the machine room about consent to butt stuff. <laughs> that because... was that was literally literally our second episode was all butt stuff, wasn't it? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And you have to remember what uh, what Meatloaf said: he'll do anything for love, but he won't do that. Not at all. He wasn't no. talking about sharing, what was it, like a Pepsi or something? No, Dr. Pepper or some shit? But won't do that. It was a, no, they, I remember he used it in a commercial. And it was like for a drink. I forgot what. I don't remember that. Yeah, it was a drink or something. He wouldn't <laughs> share it. Oh, well, he's a dick. <laughs> What a name like Meatloaf, what do you expect? Sugar drink or main? When he came up with that no, name, was, was he a big guy when he came up with that name? He's always been a big guy. Okay, so then Meatloaf. Well, I mean, he wasn't that big when I seen him like in Rocky Horror. He was just average. I don't know. Which, spoiler alert, they killed him in that movie. Sure. Uh, it was the Dr. Pepper commercial. There you go. See, he won't share Dr. Pepper. Greedy son of a bitch. Okay, but that's a familiar. I will do anything. Uh, They're not like in the commercial. They're just playing the song. I do remember that music video was fucking like big as hell. That's the most epic video ever. Yep. I love it. You have to watch the, the full version too because there's like a edited version. Because it's supposed to be people to be. 
<laughs> he was like, I'm gonna make this my thriller. I'm gonna put. Yeah, basically, it's this guy and he's doing all this shit for his girl, like buying her tampon, holding her underwear, holding the umbrella over her while he's getting wet, letting her lay on him on the couch. And then she tries to get Dr. Pepper and he fucking gets up and runs out. <laughs> <laughs> he said, nope. There's There comes a time when someone has to draw the line and that's the Dr. Pepper. You get your own fucking Dr. Pepper. There's a whole 24 case over there. Grab one for your damn self. This one's mine. Bitch, why are you trying to steal his drink? I don't understand. Or maybe he doesn't want to share, like, none of his Dr. Pepper's, like, drink water, mm-hmm. you bitch. <laughs> this is mine. <laughs> bitch, go buy some bubbly or something. These are mine. What if you just met someone? You go over to their house. You're having a great time. And then you're like, can I have a Dr. Pepper? And they're like, no. Well, I don't like Dr. Pepper, so that wouldn't phase me in the least. Okay. <laughs> so I'd be like, I'm fine with that. So what if it's something you do like? Um, I'd be hurt. But I'd understand. And I'm an adult with a car, and I can go buy my own shit. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's a good answer. Yeah, like, you don't want me to drink your shit? That's fine. I'm gonna go and buy a fucking one, you know, a two liter and drink that shit by myself. And there you go, and you don't get none. No. None for you. <laughs> but tonight, so far, we want, we 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 mentioned Dunkin' Donuts, Starbucks, and Dr. Pepper. So please sponsor us. Give us money. <laughs> Give us money. <laughs> Give us money just so we can get to that level where Ellen DeGeneres gets her on a show and then Rachel can curse her out on TV. Yes, that's that's the epitome of fame that I want to get. I want to mm-hmm. get famous enough where I'm comfortable. You know, I don't I don't need a mansion and all that. It's like, you know, just a good house, a good car. And I get to cuss out Ellen. That's it. That's it. That's all Case you need. Closed. That's all there <laughs> is. Me, it would have been to like the stage where I end up on Oprah and cuss her out, but she doesn't have a show anymore, so I just got to find her in the street yeah. and cuss her out. She Maybe she'll have a comeback one day. Mm, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> I really Fuck hope not. I've been seeing things lately where these celebrities are calling her out, saying like, yeah, she... Did she was a bitch to me on her show or whatever? Like, there's one with Tony Braxton. How she said, Who, like, Oprah or yeah. Ellen? No, Oprah. Oh wow! That Oprah, like, 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 like the Tony Braxton one was. She was like, yeah, I was going on there. I felt comfortable. You know, I looked up to Oprah. She's my girl. She's an idol. But she just was fishing for this stuff, and she made me look minuscule. Like, and then they show like clips of the interview, or whatever, and Oprah just like. You know, asking these questions, but it was these questions that was just like, what the fuck? But you see Tony Braxton, like, you know, like, yeah, whatever. But she's on live television. She can't do anything about it. But she said, like, deep inside, like, she felt hurt. And she, she felt like Oprah made her, like, she was a piece of shit. I had never heard that. And fuck that bit. <laughs> yes. I never got I never understood it. I remember seeing magazines, her old magazines, and I'm like, why is she always on the front cover? That's fucking not e- well, yeah, that is super egotistical, but there's there's another first for there for that, isn't there? Another word for it. Whatever, she was full of herself. Probably still is. You guys sense right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll go with that. Full of self. <laughs> we'll there's also that. there's also the stories about how like she's part of that whole uh you know Illuminati. Yeah, and and she like was a part of 
Michael Jackson's death or something. You know, there's a lot of stories out there and conspiracies, you know. <laughs> You're just coming up with all kinds of shit tonight. I, yeah, you know, I just hear a lot of stuff, man. Internet just opened doors for so many things. I thought we were going to talk about aliens, and now we're talking about Oprah. I, I don't know. Well, maybe Oprah is an alien. <laughs> She very well could be, because she doesn't age for shit. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. She Mm-mm. always looks the same. She does. Ever since the 80s. That bitch is scary. She got too much power. There's something there. <laughs> something, yeah. I don't know what it is. But aliens. I mean, we're not ready for them, but if they do end up showing up, I just hope that they end up to help us and not to freaking enslave us. That's true. We don't want bad aliens to come here and, and you know, like, uh, what was that movie with John Travolta? Oh, the... It was like uh, an L. Ron Hubbard book. Oh, uh, Battleship. Battle. Battle. No, not Battleship. Battle... Bat, bat. I just got Battlestar Galactica in my head, but that's not it. Um, right now, me too. And I, <laughs> I'm a huge Battlestar fan. There it is. Dro said it. Battlefield Earth. Battlefield Earth, yes. I, I like mean, that. I think things and people type them. <laughs> I never, I never seen it. Was I heard it was like really bad, so I never even bothered. But I heard it was like the worst movie ever made. That's what like, I heard. Quite literally. like people like shit on that movie. It's so bad. <laughs> um, what was my point? Oh, that there were the aliens enslaving the humans. That yeah. was my point. Yeah, we don't want that. I don't no, need that. We don't want that kind of no. scenario. I wanted we want so cool aliens, like alienation, the TV show. Exactly. You know, when they come up to me, they do the hand, the the you know, they dab me Broca. and all that stuff. Okay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They're like wearing the baggiest fucking clothes and shit. They still like think it's the 90s. Yes. Walking up to me, listening to NWA and shit. Will <laughs> Will aliens get canceled if they start calling people the N-word though? Hey, that's a good question. It is, right? Like will Will, we, will we they be mad? Would I mean, they... technically, they would be aliens, so they could get away with shit. I don't know. Exactly, right? Like, this, this they'll be in the hood. It's like, yo, what up? This is my boy right here. And the alien's like, what am I name? Like, oh, shit, that's dope, motherfucker. Funny as hell. Spit some bars, yo. And then he starts spitting bars in his alien language. It was like, oh, shit, I don't know what the fuck you just said, dog, but that shit was dope. <laughs> I like it. My second alien call me a monkey while I'm black and whooping his ass. <laughs> I think they're calling. I think they're gonna call all of us monkeys. Wow. Mm-hmm. We're apes, but whatever. What do they know, right? And they were like, what's up, what's up, my chimpanzee? I'd be like, oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Eat a dead. The fuck you just said? <laughs> I remember everything, motherfucker. But if they come and it's like Star Wars, you know, we cool as shit. I got myself a Chewbacca or something, then yeah, it'll be dope. It'll yeah. Be dope. I'm down for that. I'm down for that, and then them uh, actually helping our society. Technology gets better. Uh, we get cures for everything. Not to, I mean, we should still die because that's just human nature. But I was going somewhere and I forgot. I was thinking about alter carbon, how people just keep living, but they just keep like putting themselves in new bodies because mm-hmm. of uh, alien technology that they just like it's a, like a little chip that they put in the in the neck so that's their conscience and, I, and everything 
they just keep living forever. Like a Digimortal. Yes. Yes, it is. That's from Factory. Uh, Rach, 16-bit over here, wants to know how do they donate? How do we donate? Yeah. Um, there should be a donut thing. Did I say donut or donut? There should be a donut thingy here somewhere. A donut thingy. <laughs> <laughs> No, now you have to make that. You have to make a donut next to the donate. <laughs> and they got to press that donut. Yes. That's so fucking great. I can't talk either. But yes. Um, if you're on our our page, twitch.tv slash machine podcast, there's a button there that says tip. Press the tip button. That sounds gross, doesn't it? Like, tip you want, us. You want some of this tip? Get some of this tip right there. Let me just put the tip in. Look, everything's down. Everything's down here in the bottom, so you know, can find us on Spotify, YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Spreaker. Dang. It, it should be the first button. It says tip. It's it's big as hell, right there, people. It says tip. Yeah. Tip that shit. Aliens accept donations with square reader and probes. Ooh. Ooh, that's smart. We are in square. Ooh, I don't 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 probe me. Just don't probe me. <laughs> that's all I care about. Just don't probe me. Be cool. Oh, that just that just always makes me think of that scene in communion where they probe him on the ship and he's just like, mm, this is bad. I don't like it. Mm, no consent. You see, he had no consent right there. <laughs> <Look at that. laughs> no consent at all. Just, just if give me. If he consented to butt play, then, you know, then it would have been okay. <laughs> I saw a guy duck there. They're like, ooh, yes. <laughs> hey. <laughs> what are you going to do with that? <laughs> Oh my God! So we, I, when I worked at Best Buy in West Hollywood, we had a um, a baseball game against another Best Buy store, and uh, we had this one uh, gay guy from our store, and he was sitting in the in the stands, and he had like a foghorn or something, and he kept blowing it, and. My stupid ass. I was like, if you blow that horn one more time, I'm going to shove it up your fucking ass. And he's like, mm -mm. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, because that's your thing. <laughs> he's like, hey. Hey. I love, I love, I love the gay community, man. They're hilarious. <laughs> I was at, um, I was at a birthday party and, um, we were watching wrestling, right? We just like oh, put put the wrestling on, take off this Beyonce shit, and the guys who whose home it was, he was like, it's like, oh man, uh, I don't know if he said it like, you know, oh, I don't like wrestling. I used to back then, you know, blah blah blah, whatever. And then on the screen came out like Roman Reigns, and he was like, oh, I think I love wrestling now. <laughs> Like he told me the story. Like I found out I was gay a long time ago. I was watching the um, Paula Abdul music video, and Keanu Reeves came out. And he was like, "Oh, I, I must be gay." <laughs> there you go. Dro, just plain Dro said he got furloughed from Best Buy. Explain. Okay, look, I'm. I might sound like because it's true. I've never heard this word before until now. So explain to me what furlough means. It means you're basically still employed. You're just not working right now. There's nothing to do. Okay. So it's kind of like being laid off, but you still technically work there. Okay. It'd be like if you were a delivery man and they were like, we don't have any deliveries today. Go home. Okay. Except so then, for like, like him, like just playing Joe, it's probably like, you know, gonna be a lot longer than one day. Yeah, so I guess that's what's going on in my job. There's a lot of people who are they're still employed, but they're only called in when they need to be called in. Yeah. 
was with this. I don't know if anything like I think Rach got frozen or something. Ah, you're good. Ah, you're good. It was just weird on my on my channel. <laughs> but yeah, that, my my job is is like that. There's just a lot of people. I guess they're furloughed and um, they, right. only, they only get called in when they need them or something like that. I've been like one of the lucky ones that I'm there. Like still same schedule every day, whatever stuff like that. But there's others that oh, rather than well, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. These are conversations. Oh, oh, my money. Oh. These are conversations I had with like LP, where it's like you know we 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 got lucky enough where we get something, but we could have right. done way worse. I will not be approved for my unemployment for some reason right now. So. I gotta, really? Yeah, I gotta figure that out. I I really don't know the process because I never been through this before, so I'm it's a learning process. Um, so I gotta figure that out, and that process takes time because you only have specific days to do it, mm -hmm. depending on where your where your name falls under. Um, so yeah, I definitely need it. Because, like I said, not not a, not a lot of hours, so I need some extra income. Uh, if I don't get it, then I'll just manage. It's just what I gotta do. There you go. Yeah. So that's how it is. But if these aliens come down, yo, and help a brother out and give me some dope ass tech or whatever. With all them hand gestures. Yes. If they just have like this cool ass suit, like the Giver that I could just get in. You had me at the Giver. <laughs> it's all asking. A flying hoverboards, you know? Hover, uh, hover cars and shit. That's what I want. Everybody was talking about like what kind of mask they want to wear because of this whole pandemic thing. I mm -hmm. want the Giver mask so I can have like steam blow out of my face. That'll, that'll be dope I too am yes. looking for like I'm looking for like Some cool kind of mask to wear and stuff Cause I'm just wearing the plain old Board like it's, it's like it's our new Norm I wanna have some Fun with it and fucking look Cool out there and shit like that <laughs> Just plain drill says only flat Only fans but with dubs only Dubs brilliant <laughs> That's brilliant Weird. Ichiko Hollow Mask, that's brilliant. That'll be nice. What's that? Uh, that's from the anime Bleach. So it's like, actually, mm -hmm. I, I have the mask. You saw it, it. You probably saw it in one of the videos back then. Uh, and Scooby wore it one time. It was at the end of the video. I think it was Jello Jello, and he was dancing to it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, the white one with the black lines on it. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know where that was. Thank you for the tip, by the way. Just Shout got a out tip for an undisclosed amount. Shout out to Sixteen Bit. Thank you, man. You you're helping the machine room stay alive. All this. Yes, all this. All this in the two rooms we're in. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, you see, it's at the end of Jello Jello. Okay, you see, I I kind of know my videos. I kind of know my videos. A little bit. A little bit. A, a, little, a little pter. It's funny somewhere. when I quote something and you miss it. I'm like, that's from a video. You're like, really? For yeah. real. I'm telling I tell people that too all the time. We say a lot of things. Something just go right by. And I don't even realize. When I did the subtitle version of... Um, juggernaut. The juggernaut bitch. There were things there. I was like, "Oh snap! I didn't even know he said that, or I didn't realize we said that and stuff like that." Because I really got paid attention. There's a lot of things being said over each other. Some people <laughs> even hit me up with like, "Hey, we want to know what video was it that you said this quote?" And I'm, <laughs> I literally go sometimes like, "I don't think we ever said that, dude." Because at that time period that we made the dubs, there were other people making dubs, so we were always confused yeah. for other works as well. And I'm like, "Dude, we didn't do that." Mm -hmm. Like what? 
I remember back then they'll say like, um, hey, that uh, Ninja Turtle dub or whatever, something like that. And oh, we didn't do yeah. a Ninja Turtle dub yet. So I was like, no, no, that's not us. <laughs> Those are great, by the way. Thank you. But when we released I that did. one, we got attacked. <laughs> oh, you did? Yeah. Because what they say? Cause the people, I think it was the guys who did it, were saying we we stole their like we we you know we stole their swag or something like that like you know nice. we did it why the fuck you guys do it or other people were saying like why you guys do the same thing it was some shit like that and i was like oh it was nothing like that i mean they had their way and i just really wanted to do a turtle so i did it put a quarter in your ass because you just played yourself <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> But do not put anything in my ass, aliens. No. Please. Please. We need that consent first. Give me hoverboards. <laughs> well, they gave us cell phones, so we have those. We have computer chips. Um, drone technology. Stealth technology. I'm sure there's more, and I'm just drawing a blank, but you know, allegedly, all, all of those things have been backward engineered from alien technology. It's been backward. No, no, correction. It's been backward engineered from Megatron. <gasps> That's true. Because mm -hmm. Megatron the show. Yes. Remember, they had them captive. And in, in a dam. Yeah. But Drill's like, but where are these lizard people? Ooh. Arizona and New Mexico, apparently. According Holy... to Jesse Ventura. Ooh, shit. Oh, really? Danny, please tell us more about this Jesse Ventura lizard people. <laughs> yes. You know, Jesse Danny Ventura. knows everything, Jesse. The body. You said. The motherfucking body. <laughs> what the fuck has he been doing? That's what I want to know. Where's he been hiding? Jesse is trying to hold his tongue because he knows the true story behind the COVID-19. We all do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Danny will look into it. I, I want to invest in Danny having a show where he's looking into the conspiracies. I'd watch that. That's what I want. Watch that in a heartbeat. Yes, definitely. <laughs> it needs to yeah. happen. Why is that not a thing right now? Why? What? That's a great question, Danny. Why is this not a thing? Why have you not invested into this? We need it right now. You. Sh it should be a thing. You shouldn't be twitching. You shouldn't be twitching yourself playing video games. No, I want to see you on there. Telling us your thorough investigations. I want you in a room where you have this whole like board and everything behind you, looking like Charlie and Always Sunny in Philadelphia, trying <laughs> to explain to us what's going it's on. With red, with red yarn attached to things, with pins on them. Yes. You want to know at the top? <laughs> it's control. Yes. Is it Illuminati? We need to know. That's what I want. And look, look, Draw already gave you the name of the show. Danny does debunking. The Triple D. Triple D. I watched that. Triple D Sunday show. Night at 7 PM. There we yes. go. Yes. Always Dexter gotta do it. Right yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh, I gotta send something real quick. Ooh shit. That's a dope ass computer. Is it? It is. I. It's still raining out there. But yes, aliens. Look at that. 16 bit. Go to rightwingwatch.org. All the conspiracies are there. Ooh, I don't know if I want to fall into that rabbit hole right now. No. Mm, I don't know. That's pretty deep. That's pretty deep, man. Like. 
like I say, every day is something new. You got like it started off with the whole five G conspiracy, and now it goes on somewhere else. And then just this week, it's like there's fucking aliens. Like we already knew, but they like exist, and we're like, fuck. Tell me more. There was a there was a movie based on the Phoenix Lights, which is a huge. UFO um, sighting that was in Phoenix and it happened over multiple nights. I'm trying to remember the name of the movie because it was actually pretty scary. Um, Phoenix Forgotten? No, it wasn't that new. I thought you were going to say there was a movie uh, about the Phoenix saga and I was like, yeah, there were two and they sucked. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, they did, because they rushed it. And I don't know why they. so many people wanted to see that story. There's so many great X-Men stories that they could have told besides the Phoenix Saga. I guess because we grew up on it. But shout out for using the Juggernaut bitch in that one movie. That was the best part. That's it. <laughs> exactly. No, also Kelsey Grammer being Beast, because that was like perfect casting. Oh, my God, yes. I totally, that was like, I was mad too because he should have been there since the first movie and they mm-hmm. just kind of explained that he was just off doing some other shit. Mm-hmm. This whole, it's like, dude, that was like the best casting next to like uh, Sabretooth. Sabretooth was great fucking casting for that guy. Mm-hmm. You're talking about the first like X-Men Sabretooth, right? Yes, the the very first X Men movie. Yeah, yeah. Not that the, spot. Not the Wolverine Origins one. No. <laughs> I got a, I got a guy at work that looks like like that one. I call him Sabretooth because of that. Just really. <laughs> yeah. Everything. 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 Oh Smile. Whatever. It's like the Puerto Rican Sabretooth. It's perfect. <laughs> and that's how we became friends because. Uh, I told him that, and he found it funny as hell, and then we just became friends after that. I love it. I'm mm-hmm. all about it. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Got this other guy that I call the Wish Master. Don't call him to his face, but we're not friends. I'll tell you that. <laughs> He's my least favorite of that whole damn workplace. There's a lady that I work with that I call Beastmaster because she looks like the guy from the movie Beastmaster. <laughs> yes. yes. She's uh. Yeah, scary. Just the fact that it's a woman and you say look like the dude, that's hilarious. <laughs> very much so. And if you know the guy that I'm talking about, he's very like has very strong features, so it's scary to see that in a woman. <laughs> She's fucking scary. Everybody has one. <laughs> yes. Alien. You're still looking for this Phoenix scene, aren't you? I am. It's bugged me. <laughs> I can't even remember like who's in it. You gotta hurry up. Cause... That's like based on a true story. So it's like... Anyway. Uh-huh. If I can find it, it's great. But we're gonna put it out there. We already said two. One of them is Communion. The other is Fire in the Sky. Um, then there was the one more recently called Dark Skies. That one's pretty good. Really? Um, yeah, that has the chick from... Oh, what's that show where she was a Russian agent undercover? Uh, I was going to say Alias, but no. No. <laughs> that one's good. Are you talking about Carrie Russell, huh? Yeah, yeah. She's... She's on Dark Skies. That's a great movie. Ah, I had no idea this was about aliens. Oh, yeah. Full on. Hmm. It'll take a lot for me to try to watch that. But, if you want, you guys go out to watch a show called Falling Skies. That shit was dope. That's good. And another one is called Extraterrestrial. 
um, used to be on Netflix. It's really good. It's really fucking scary. It's not as scary as Communion, but it's up there. Communion is like number one and will always be number one. Mm-hmm. Next to like the real thing. Ooh, Pedro. What you talk? Pedro, I guess, is talking about uh, Carrie Russell and Mission Impossible. She in Mission Impossible three? She's the one that died? No. Yeah. No. 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 What's he talking no. about then? I don't know. What? Yeah, she was in Mission Impossible three. Yeah, she is the one that died. Oh damn. Spoiler alert. Oh, that's the John Woo one too. No, oh, two. No, two, two was is the John, John Woo one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Three was the That's the British check. Yeah, three was the JJ Abraham one. Yeah. Well he did like two or three in a row. So they've been like JJ Abrams for a while. I fucking he, know. Once he gets attached to something, he just doesn't let it go. He just does it well. Does it real well. I felt like he should have done the whole Star Wars trilogy, but that was me. Me too. But then again, George Lucas didn't do all of them, so I guess that makes sense. True. He did the whole prequel. Yes. And. <laughs> 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 Mm. Yeah. I don't know. The Philip Seymour Hoffman one. Dar- if it's not Darth Maul, I don't, I don't, I don't care for it. Well, if you want some Darth Maul, right now is the time because you should be watching the new se- the final season of the Clone Wars, where Darth Maul is in it. And I heard they got actually Ray Park to fucking do the mocap for the fight scene. <sighs> and there's footage of him doing the fight scene. That's beautiful. So, bam. You got actual Darth Maul and... Doing Darth Clone. Maul shit. Yup. I and that's love it. All you can ask for. And if there was aliens out there, let them be as cool as Darth Maul. Just not try to kill me. <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> we're not about that life. We are not about that life. Hashtag butt control. <laughs> and on that note, we have to bid you all an adieu. This has been Le Machine Room Podcast. I am your friend, Nastrodomics, and with me is a Hammer of Venus, and this has been a wonderful night. I hope to see you all again next week. You have been a great bunch of people. I love it. You all came in. Hashtag all... butt stuff. Hashtag butt stuff. Hashtag bus <laughs> control. Hashtag... Uh, what is it? Danny does debunking. Yes. <laughs> we, need that. we need that show right now. Yes, thank you, More 16, 16 bit, for the donation. Much appreciated. Much obliged. Much obliged. <laughs> Once again, if you guys want anything or, you know, anything uh, for Machine Room Podcast, you can go to MachineRoomPodcast.com. Uh, if you're right here right now on this live stream, just go down below and there's all the spots you can go to. Um, thank you, guys. And let's keep doing our best. Not practice, not practicing social distance no more. We've got to be experts at social distancing Keep washing our hands because that's the fucking logical shit to do, you dirty bastards. And yeah. don't, 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 don't drink any bleach, please, or anything like that. Don't, don't drink any household cleaners, please. None. Just no, don't. Don't do it. It's. You're gonna regret it every time. It's it's stupid. Just like, just like eating ethnic food, you're just gonna hate it after. It's just just think of it like that. Directly think of it like that. It's going to burn coming out and you're not going to have any fun. <laughs> and then you're going to wish you were anally probed. Good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>